Hi everybody, I'm Matthew Miller, the Fedora Project Leader, and I have a cool laptop to show off here today. This is the Framework, and I was going to do an unboxing video of this, but uh, it was actually, this is a version, I guess, of the older um, frame chassis with a new, the new motherboard and internals in it, and it was sent to me in like developer packaging, um, not the actual final retail packaging, so I'm not supposed to show that off. Um, so I have this from the framework folks basically to help make sure that it runs Fedora Linux nicely and the good news is it really does. So I've been playing with this for a couple of weeks and it's awesome and it's a neat computer. There's a whole bunch of stuff about framework out there but I kind of like the modular nature of it so you can put like four USB-C ports or you know one USB-C and three USB-A and whatever. It's neat. Um, and that continues to the inside. The whole idea is it's basically a repairable, sustainable design for a laptop, which um, as a, you know, tinkerer appeals to me, but I think it's also appealing in a lot of different ways just in terms of how we put together things in society. So that's cool. And it works really nicely with Fedora Linux 36. And so here um, I thought, well, we just branched for the next release. That means we're starting to get ready for the Fedora Linux 37 release, which should be at the end of October of this year. So that's coming up. So this is very early. It's not even a beta yet, but we actually have some nightly builds that work. So I booted that up here on one of them. And here it looks very nice. This is the wallpaper we're putting for that release. So if you haven't seen that already, sneak peek. And so basically everything just works. It's a really nice laptop and has a lovely screen, lovely features. It's, you know, you're basic Fedora workstation interface here, and uh, there is really nothing super exciting to say because it is so polished. I really like um, the screen's a joy to look at here, and it's nice to look at the lovely wallpaper. The one thing in the setup guide, so with this new system, there is a, I guess there's a sensor for the brightness, and that uses the same like internal configuration as the keyboard, and there's a conflict in some way. So there's a workaround for that. If you look on the framework uh, website for the Fedora Linux guide, it tells you exactly what to run. And that makes the keys work again. So I'm going to check, does that work in this beta or pre-beta release yet? Will, will I, uh, something happen when I press the function keys? So function, yep, function keys for volume, play, the, the media keys are working here. So those work, but we get to the brightness. Okay, no, so that is not fixed yet. That's okay, that's something we'll have to work on um, for now. I guess run that shortcut and that will make it work. Uh, I've also heard that battery life can be a concern and that's something also we should work on. There's some uh, workarounds that are again available on the framework community site. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I, you know, I'm basically running it plugged in so I didn't really pay attention to what those things are but I've heard good results with those and I think getting this to work more nicely would be good. And, um, I live in the city, so sometimes there's sirens. They're not coming for me, I promise.